Well, whilst the rose is drying, I'm just using some of the florist tape just to hide the wires on our rose leaves. So it's just a case of stretching the tape as you saw me do, and then that releases the paraffin wax that is on there. And then at 45 degrees, then just start to wrap that round your wires, and it just gives it that nice clean finish every single time. Okay, let's just go all the way to the end of the wire and then just give it a little bit of a twist. That's going to be hidden anyway. So just do that to all of your wires. So for a, a wire here, and let's just um, grab a ruler. So the wire on here is about five centimeters in length. I'm literally just going to take a piece of the florist tape that is approximately the same, okay, five centimetres again. So you just stretch that out to make it sticky and then just wrap that around itself. So starting at the end of the actual petal itself, or the leaf, sorry, and just again, 45 degrees, have the tape positioned and then just wrap that round. So you can see even five centimetres of the florist tape is going to be plenty to wrap that wire. So obviously at 45 degrees it covers the wire that much quicker than if you were to try to just wrap it all the way around. And it also really adheres nicely to the wire. So I'm just going to carry on doing that to the other few leaves that I have. And then we'll come back and we'll actually start to wire everything together and sort of like give it a little bit of realism okay so like I say 45 degrees and just spin the wire and the leaf and you're gonna get a nice result every time so there's all of our leaves all done so they are all pre-wired so at the moment you can see that um, leaf is pretty flat Hold it both ends, okay, because the wire is going through it, and you can actually, there we go, bend the leaf as well, okay. But like I say, hold it at both ends, and then the the wire that's going through it won't poke out, so you can easily, easily shape that afterwards. So I'm just going to pop those aside. Let's bring in, hopefully, are they near, yeah, near enough dry? Okay, so that is the difference between the two. This one's a little bit wet, so really I wouldn't say there's that much difference in the actual um, colouring techniques between the two so whatever you're happy with doing then just um, do that so whichever look that you think is, is nicer go with that but that's actually how you colour the beautiful roses so whether it's from the five piece um, petal cutter or indeed the easiest rose ever cutter that are the, they are the two different looks and also the two different paint techniques. This was the brush and then we used the foam applicator on this one. So all that's left now is to actually wire them together.